Hey guys, um, how you guys doing, man? Thank you for tuning in and welcome back to yet another episode of Mr. G's Reaction. Hey, apologize for not dropping vlogs. A couple of days passed by, man, because I've been down with a cold, I mean, I'm just trying to recuperate, I mean, but I know you guys got my back because I keep watching and I see that you guys are watching and streaming. That's mad love from Mr. J, you dig? So, um, I came up with something, man. From now on, every now and then, we are going to be dropping vlogs just to see what you people are commenting about i mean we're gonna read a couple of vlogs and then i'm gonna give you guys my reply and i mean if it's necessary to give a reply i'm gonna give it if it's not i'm gonna just ignore it you did because i see some disrespectful comments but it's all love i mean i want everybody to feel connected as we grow man we gotta we gotta stay connected more i mean but before we go you know the drill is you smell me you ready let's go Ladies and gentlemen, man, thank you for tuning in and welcome back to yet another episode of Mr. J's Reaction. Yo, this is the first vlog we are going to be dropping in this in this new content. You dig now? This content is going to be about just me reading out your comments and giving my reply and checking out what you guys been saying. So the title of this one is What They Be Saying. You dig, man? Hit that subscribe button, smash the like, and that notification. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And please let that commercial play. Hey, man, if my voice sounds a little bit strange today, you got to understand, man, I'm, I'm having a terrible cold. I don't know if I cut that Omicron. I don't know, y'all. But hey, we're we, 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 we going to put this shit to rest. Now, I mean, I'm talking about the the cold though, know what I mean? You ready? Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, so today is, uh, this is from Ibrahim Bayo, okay? Um, he was, um, this is, this is on the Root Boy Nowhere To Go reaction that I dropped a while ago, and, uh, sorry, I've been reading, okay? Uh, he was togetherly, peacefully, and musically missing his brother, facts. Talking about Root Boy. Uh, and now they are back together. I'm more than a hundred percent happy. Mr. J, you already know where this love is coming from. Big up, bro. I know exactly where it's coming from, my brother. Man, hey, it's so good, man. The P Square Brothers, man, from the moment that they announced that they've come together, it's been buzzed online. You dig? Fans have been, you know, all the reactors have been dropping stuff. You dig? This man visiting his brother, his going, you know, that it's been a long while that they've been out. But now that they are together, I hear that they're about to drop something this December. So, big up and shout out to you, man, Ibrahim Bayom. Now, the next comment comes from uh, Salimu875, man. This is from, uh, I dropped the reaction to why I hate religion but love Jesus. That was to my to my Muslim brothers, man. Salam alaikum to all of you guys, man. I hope you guys are good, man. We are one family. You dig? It doesn't matter what religion you from, man. You in the human race. You smell me, so brother. Let me read. And you were like, um, please react to Jesus and Allah conversation. I got you, you dig. I'm gonna react to that for you. You know what I mean? Wherever you're writing from, man. I hope it's all love, man. Hey. My best wishes for this festive season to you and your family. I know you guys don't celebrate Christmas, but hey, as a human race, man, Merry Christmas in advance. You smell me? Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to the next comment. Um, Tariela Nanakumo. Now, this is from the Berlash Murders Latin Lincoln Cash App reaction I did a while back. And you were just like, nice, you okay. got so um, thanks for stopping by so um, i'm gonna start skipping just those one phrases coming you dig i'm gonna just go for them now this is from the cy uh, vlog that i dig so richard light uh this man is so real that his people would think he is a sellout but he's actually finding solutions to elevate the Cameroonian entertainment industry he loves his country and cares my opinion though rich rich what's up my brother i'm guessing you from cameroon how far 237 in the building now bro nobody is saying that you should not elevate i mean but if you want to elevate an industry bro keep it factual you dig drop facts i mean i also criticize i mean it's not like uh some of you guys already called me a hater but some i starting to understand where i'm coming from now if you want to look for solutions to elevate the cameroon industry bro i would suggest that you look inwards you dig the Cameroon industry has no problem outside. You dig so they have to focus inside, in-house. 
You smell me? So that is my take to you, Rich Light. And I mean, because all this thing you say, no, 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 none of that. If, if you want to criticize somebody out of the Cameroonian industry and try to put the blame from the outs, from you know, extrinsic, uh, intrinsic. So our problem is not from outside. Our problem is inside house. Cameroonian artists in Cameroon got to fix the shit up. Until they fix that shit up, my brother, nothing is going to change in the Cameroonian industry. I'm talking about that ego pride shit. I'm talking about that, you know, smash your brother just to get up shit. It's not going to work. You feel me? That's my opinion too, though. I appreciate you stopping by, man. We're going to see what happens in the end. I mean, uh, let's go now to Obia Isaac and UG, man. You said thanks for the reaction, Mr. J. Hey, big up to you, my brother, man. You saw love from me to you. Now, let's go to the next one, man. Let's go to... Uh, Tough Black Seed, man. Still for the CYE, the recent CYE stuff that I dropped, my reaction. And Tough Black Seed said, Ibuka by nature is not combative, reactive, feisty kind of guy, okay? I noticed that from a short, brief response to my brother's paragraph, okay? He is one of the most polished, graceful Nigerian media entertainment personality, okay? He is a trained, he is trained as a lawyer, head and shoulders above the jackass who parades himself as a comedian. Facts. I don't know if my man is a comedian for real because nothing that he does to me sounds comedic. But you know, people still refer to him as the comedian. I'm talking about CY. You dig? So uh Ibuka and that guy wouldn't be mentioned in the same sentence when it comes to intelligence class and and decency. And it goes on, man. My man, you wrote a whole lot. Facts. One other thing that that clown needs to know is that people who are in business put profit and rationality above the beyond petty sentiment. Facts. That is something some of our Cameroonian entertainers don't understand. They, they do not understand that. The person, people who prefer to engage the service of Ibuka had their reason. See why I should go and ask them if engaging Ibuka was worth it or not. If, it's, if, it, if it made good business sense. Facts, like I said, it's the guy's money. If I have my money today and I want to invite anybody, Olami Day, Whiskey, you know, I'm talking about if I got my paper like that, I want to bring somebody to Cameroon, it's my business. If I bring them or not, they, I'm not obliged to bring somebody from Cameroon. They, I'm obliged to bring somebody that's going to help my business, my whatever event that I'm doing. Sure. The next thing that he goes, Nigerian and Anglophone Cameroon have so much in common that entertainers from both countries stand to gain more from each other, especially Cameroonian artists considering the population of Nigeria and the influence and the cloud of Nigerian artists in the world. Facts. I agree with that. I wish that more reasonable Cameroonian artists would release the folly in antagonizing the... It, man, it, it, it's antagonizing the Nigerian counterparts and show more respect. In general, Cameroonians should be com commended for distancing themselves from this sort of hate. Where, Bro, you know where I stand. You dig? You know where I stand. And I know that a whole lot of other Cameroonians would definitely stand on the same path as Mr. J. But it is what it is. You smell me? It's just, you know, the funny mindset of some people. You know what I mean? Hey, big up to you, my brother, Tough Black Sea. He always coming through me. Hey, you, you are the member of the family. You dig? You got the spare key to the house. So come in anytime you want to, man. Now, let's go to Obino Moses. And this is to the Niger I, I lose cannon. I dropped something about the 98 Bulls, man. Chicago Bulls rap star, and my Baga, and AQ. And he said, your reaction is pure joy and facts, man. Salute to you, sir, and keep it up. Yo, Obino Moses, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, man. I will do that. He dig Mr. J is here for the long run. I'm not going anywhere. You smell me? Now, let's keep going down, man. Uh, now, this is about the CY coming, man. This is from Black Coral TV. And he said, this clown was hating on Nigerian music last year calling for a band. He was. The same dude. He said, Nigerian music has grown ever bigger and is global. Now, you can't stop a good thing. He should continue hating while Nigeria keep progressing. Yeah, yeah, man. Bro, this is my thing, though. I've, I've, I've said it now, you know. If we want to, to evolve as a Cameroonian entertainment industry, there should be no shame in learning from the best. You dig? The person who taught me how to program is like 10 years younger than Mr. J. And he felt, he was like, why are you coming to me? You're like, my, no, but I'm like, yo, I want to learn. That is how I've always said that. The thing is ego and pride. The thing is stupidity. The thing is lack of business knowledge when it comes to the music or the entertainment industry. Some of my Cameroonian entertainers don't know. You dig? It's just what it is, my brother. Uh, Black, Black Coral TV, big up to you, my brother. Big up to you, man. And then there's Charles, 
Charles, uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but we're going to try it. I hear me. Oh, my goodness. He said, I see Cameroonians are brothers and I am Nigerian. Why do some people always focus on differences? It is just, you know, when you have an inferiority complex mindset, that's how you say it. It's just, it's, it's funny. I mean, I don't, bro, I wish I could give an answer to that, Chuck, but I don't, I honestly do not understand. I do not know what the heck is the problem. You dig? Now, let's go on to the next, man. You know, I'm skipping some short, short ones, I mean, but uh, yaz, yazai, man. Hey, bro, I bet you that Cameroon TM is coming so strong. Go react to the boy calf and beat mad, bro. I listen to that stuff. It's amazing. It's epic, man. I'm gonna drop a reaction. You dig? Big up to you, man. Keep keep dropping your comments. You smell me? Now let's talk about the next one from Chukuma Olise Meka Odoku Igbo. Is one kiakwanu? Eh. We will talk about. He left a comment, man. AQ all the way, man. After the the lamb cipher three aq all the way aq aq came in differently i don't care what you tell me i don't care how you said forget about the fact that am i did this thing but aq aq that closer was the ish man i mean so let's go to the next comment man this is from monday ojima from the burner boy and whiskey ballon door man hey I so much love your reaction. You just got a new subscriber. Hey, man, thank you and welcome to the platform. You dig. It gives me joy when somebody just drops that. I mean, you so love, my brother. I apologize if I'm not, if I'm replying to you just now. I mean, so this vlog is going to be some of the re my reaction, you know, my answers to some of your comments. So none of you guys feel left out. Smell me? And um, let's go on to the next, man. And the next is from Alaji MCC. My man, that's what the reaction I gotta respect the G man reaction from Cal De Negro, man. My man was like the king is always the king. Bless. Big up to the man and this man has been doing big things from for Salon Sierra Leone. And I hope that you guys stand and support this man, man. He gonna make big things happen for the country. Now let's talk about the next comment from um Report My Case, man. Humble Smith featuring Root Boy from P Square. Humble Smith is from eastern part of the Igbo East State in Igbo. I did ask where Humble Smith was from during my reaction. And bro, I appreciate you coming through, man. I know you dropped this like four days ago, but Mr. J was under the weather, so I got it going now. Say, Mr. J, check out. And somebody dropped uh, the same brother, John King Onua. Check out Humble Smith featuring the video. And the song uh, is the remix of Osinachi. I'm gonna do that. I remember the song dropped after the video had the problem with the statement, the airport going to the plane sit going to Dubai. We gonna talk about that. You feel me? Mr. J is always in touch. Now, I mean, now let's go to the next one by James McKinley, man. NG representing facts. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna end for now. I mean, keep comments, and shit, and let's talk about this stuff. I mean, for me, you know, keep your head up, keep streaming, man. We out of here. Peace. Action God, big up TRP family Mr. J, I see you I know some artists don't do this God bless